name is Kim Roby. I'm a teacher at Eastern Flurio High School in Strathalbyn, South Australia. Last couple of years I've been working with a student who's had difficulty with mainstream schooling. So I've been working closely with him to help him with his learning, to get him through high school and to help him achieve his SAIS certificate. When I first started working with Isaac, I was really pleased to find out that he'd already started learning guitar. And I love music, so I figured making music together would be a fun activity that would also help him check off some of his say -so. We decided that as well as learning other people's songs during our music lessons, that we would also write a song of our very own. A lot of people think it's really hard to write a song of your own but you'd be surprised how much ability you actually have if you try. I'll explain how we wrote our song, but this is just one way that you can potentially write your own song. Step one was to learn some chords. I made sure Isaac knew the eight most common chords that were found in popular music. Our song only has four chords in it, but the same four chords will pop up in so many other popular songs. Step two was to adjust a song that we already knew. So we had learned a song that had four chords. We simply messed around with the arrangement. We changed the order of the chords around and we changed the tempo and we changed the strumming pattern on our guitars to make it sound like a whole new song. We also changed the pitch of the song by using a capo. So that meant we could still use the same chords but it gave the whole song a different sound. Step three was to come up with a theme and some lyrics. So we brainstormed some ideas about a song. Isaac really wanted to write a song about his pet fish. So we thought, maybe they're wondering what Isaac's doing when he's not around. And then we looked at some rhyming words to help us with some words that rhymed and sounded like lyrics. Once we had our lyrics, we thought the song sounded a little bit sad. So we played the chords nice and soft and slow and made it suit the style of the theme of the song and Isaac wasn't quite ready to sing so it was my job to sing the lyrics in our song. So we rearranged the chords from a song that we had already learned, we changed the chords around, changed the pitch with a capo, added our own words and we had our own song. We then recorded our song we added a few little extra touches to it to make it sound really special and now we've always got a copy of it forever and who knows, we might even release it someday. Our final step was to perform this song in front of a live audience. So we decided the perfect place for this was the EFS Performing Arts Centre during our end of year presentation. So we celebrated in front of Isaac's friends and family and we put on a concert for them and played our new song. Oh